Ask Beth to join us if you want to. I can handle it. I've got my antihistamines. You like her. And that's good enough for me. No, Art. What? Would you mind if dinner tonight was just the two of us? Mm -hmm. As in me and Beth. Only it's more romantic. It's just for tonight. I thought you didn't want to be disturbed. I'll make you a toasted sandwich. A whole one. Just for me, I don't want to be a burden. Art, you're overreacting. No. No, starvation is good. Hunger will sharpen my senses. All the great screenplays were written against the odds. Oh, no. What? What's the matter? I forgot the chicken. James, it's OK. But I can't make... a la king, can I? I've got to go into work. You have? I'll pick up a takeaway on the way home. For all three of us. I can't get a picture on mine. Am I the only one who hears the door go? Am I? Every time? Is everybody else deaf? Now, I've asked a man to come out to fix it. And I, I said to knock on the boy's door in case I'm out with Joe. Actually, I, I'm not I sure. gets here before my programme starts. Not the same without a picture. Not as funny. Do you like Crime Watch? When did you last see them? I can't remember. Well, they'll turn up. They always do. Okay, is it? Yes. Listen, Beth's got to go into work for a couple of hours. She's going to pick up a takeaway on the way back. You know, Jones, every time you come in here, you break my concentration. I lose my place. It then takes me time to find it again. Time I do not have. Is that clear? What are you in the mood for? Chinese? Indian? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a new rule. Every time I'm in here, and you hear the typewriter... Or if you don't hear the typewriter... Or whatever you hear. Or don't hear. If I'm in here, I am at work. So you do not come in, OK? You do not come in. Now, do you think you can handle that? Don't have to decide now.
Daddy's coming with me a bedtime story. Come here for a minute first. Are you having a good time? Yes. Not by the hair on your chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in. Jones? I'm in my room if you need me. Working. Oh, Jesus, I've Look all the windows. Why? What's going on? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Oh, why haven't you paid any of these bills? We don't have time for this right now. We don't have any hot water. I don't want to cause you any unnecessary alarm, Jones. But there is somebody out there. And they want to get in. And I don't mean to check the gas meter. Not the telephone company as well. No. A cherry knocker. All night long, he knocks. Knocks. Who's there? Nobody. Like I said, it's a cherry knocker. Do you answer it? I think you're here for me, aren't you? This is ridiculous. Like I said, I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. Hello? It's Sally. Your sister. I'll just tuck Danny in. Hello, sorry to bother you. I know you're trying to work. But... For the last time, I've got the situation under control. Danny is fast asleep. I'm perfectly calm. It's not like there's a maniac up on the roof. And if it makes you feel any better, I put the axe outside. You've still got the axe? 